Shalom, my brothers and sisters. I have yet another word for you. And this word is going to be a blessing to someone who's watching me right about now. I know there are some of you who are watching me right now. And you have had this happen to you. Where people are so judgmental. They don't believe in you. They don't believe in your story. You have tried to convince them. You have tried to be good. But people always find a way of putting the blame on you. They are always doubting you. They are always looking out at you. Waiting for you to make a mistake. Brothers and sisters, it does not matter. Whether people choose to believe in you, choose to believe what you do, or do not believe in you. Some of you, you are in a situation where you are surrounded by people that you call family, relatives. Some of you even at your workplace, people don't believe in your report. When you present a report, people don't believe in it. People think that you are full of lies. People uh, associate you with deception. But it does not matter. You see, even Jesus, people did not believe in him. His own received him not. His own rejected him. The scripture says he came to his own and they received him not. They rejected him. They ostracized him. So don't be surprised when your own family does not believe in you. Some of you when you're growing up, your own siblings, your own family did not believe in you. They did not believe that you can do it. Some of you, people don't believe that you can live on your own. They are so surprised to see you survive. In fact, they expected you to die a long time ago. They expected you to perish a long time ago. They expected you to fall down. They expected you never to, be, to make it. But here you are standing because God loves you. Because God is still with you. No matter who judges you. No matter what is happening in your life, some of you, you have court cases that are coming up. You are supposed to be in the courts of law. And people don't believe in your testimony. But I declare and decree that whoever accused you, whoever set you up, may they be disappointed in the name of Jesus. I speak victory over your life. I speak that you will overcome that no matter what the enemy throws up at you you are going to overcome because jesus christ of nazareth has overcome i want to read to you a scripture that is in the book of john chapter 7 verse 1 to 5 john chapter 7 verse 1 to 5 and it reads after these things, Jesus walked in Galilee, for he did not walk, he did not want to walk in Judea, because the Jews sought to kill him. Now the Jews' feast of tabernacles was at hand. His brothers therefore said to him, Depart from here and go into Judea, that your disciples also may see the works that you are doing. For no one does anything in secret while he himself seeks to be known openly. If you do these things, show yourself to the world. For even his brothers did not believe in him. That is it. Scripture says, even his brothers did not believe in him. This is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is the Son of God that even his brothers, his siblings, did not believe in him. His brothers did not believe in him, no matter how many works he did, no matter how many miracles he performed, his brothers did not believe in him. This is a word for you. Some of your brothers, your own siblings, don't believe in you. They don't believe that you will make it. They don't believe in your dream. They don't believe in your story. They don't believe in you. 
But it does not matter. It does not matter. It does not matter. Because even Jesus, his own brothers, did not believe in him. Now the scripture says that the Jews sought to kill him. On top of that, his brothers not believing him. The Jews sought to kill him. There are people who seek to kill you. People who seek to destroy your life. People who are interested in causing misery in your life. These are enemies. They are moving with you. They are searching for you. They are looking for you to destroy your life. Brothers and sisters, this is a word for you. That no matter what people have done in their lives, in your lives, it does not matter. Just trust in God. Just put your trust in God. Run to God and God will help you. Brothers and sisters, I have come to the end of this powerful message. Remember, I come uh, with these powerful words of encouragement. Every day I release this word. So it is important that you get connected to this platform by subscribing to this channel and turning on all the notifications. Also, you can send me your messages, your email address, um, through my email address, which is in the about section. Also, uh, if you have been blessed by this message and ministry, and you want to be a blessing to this ministry through your giving, you can do so through my paper. Remember, my paper is in the about section. You will find all details that pertain me. Follow me on all social media platforms. Until next time, may God surely bless you.